I'm Kristen for Guns.com, and this is the new Marlin Model 1895 Dark in 4570. I can't wait to hunt with this rifle because you know what? If you're a traditionalist too and you love the 4570, that caliber gets the job done. If you're familiar with Marlin rifles, you know the Model 336 and the Model 1895. Well, flash forward to modern styling in today, and what we have is Marlin's Dark Series. This is the all blacked out lever action. I have the 1895 here in 4570. There's also a Model 336 in 3030. If you want a rifle that you can take into harsh conditions, this is the rifle for you. Let's look at what sets the Dark apart from the other rifles in its series. Starting right here at the muzzle, you'll see we're threaded. So you can put a suppressor on there, a muzzle brake, or any other device that you'd like. You'll see we have excess sights on this rifle. So this full length, actually extended length, excess lever gun rail that ends in a ghost ring rear sight which matches up with this white ramp front sight. So that means if I don't have a scope on here and I throw this up with that large aperture rear sight, I would come up and pick up that game nice and quick. What I've done right out of the box is put on this loophole Variex Freedom Scope because I want to see what this thing can do in terms of accuracy. The barrel on this Dark Series is only 16 and a quarter inches. What we get there is a fairly heavy barrel with the full length magazine tube right to the end of that barrel. That holds five rounds of 4570. Now that is some serious firepower. You know I'm not the biggest fan in the world of synthetic stocks, but I'll tell you what, I really like the look and the feel of this Marlin Dark. And that's because this is not a hollow synthetic, but rather this is a wood stock that's been painted black and then had the spider webbing finish put over it. And further, that buttstock ends in a really nice quality Packmeyer decelerator pad. So we all know 4570 has a little wallop to it on the shoulder. Well, this pad really helps pick up that recoil, as does the wood stock. There's obviously a little recoil to a 4570. There's no lie about that, but you lean into it. It's not the lightest rifle, but it's maneuverable. The recoil is certainly very manageable, and that's shooting 300 grain hollow point hunting ammunition. If I can do it, so can you. The closest comparison to the Marlin Dark is the Henry X model, which actually came later. But when we're looking at those two models, a couple of the things that really set the Marlin apart are first, the wood stock that's blacked out versus the synthetic, this full length excess rail that you get for easy scope mounting with the aperture sight, the Henry comes with the fiber optics, so that's a matter of personal preference. The other thing that I really like on the Marlin is the oversized loop that's not just oversized, but wrapped with the paracord. So when you're working this action quickly, and you're throwing that around in the field, at least for me with bare hands, it feels a lot better to be hitting that paracord than it does to be hitting a smaller steel loop. You'll see as I run this action, and the hammer's cocked, I'm now able to disengage or engage that cross bolt safety. When I have that in safe, I can safely lower that hammer without worrying about a loaded chamber. But you'll see now, with that hammer dropped, I'm not able to move that into fire until I cock that hammer. Now that safety engages and disengages. It's an additional feature that you don't find on the comparable gun in the Henry. 4570 is some serious medicine, and this is one of the federal hammer downs in a 300 grain projectile here. And what we do to load the Marlin in the 1895 is like any other Marlin, is using this side loading gate. So it's just as simple as sliding it into there. That magazine tube will hold five rounds when we want to load and chamber around. Just as simple as working that lever. Right there, we're loaded. You'll see my safety is still engaged, meaning I can safely lower that hammer on my loaded round. Now, if I want to empty this, all I have to do, again, work the lever, and I would do that to clear the magazine tube. We have an empty chamber, and you'll hear that dry fire. It's quite a nice trigger on a lever action.
here we go. I'm set up at 100 yards with the Marlin Dark here. And for the accuracy test, I'm shooting what I plan to hunt with this time, which is the Federal Premium new hammer down rounds made specifically for lever actions, especially side loading gate tube feeds like this Marlin. So these are 300 grain bonded bullets that should perform excellent on deer, hogs, bear, and all of that size of game. So let's give it a whirl. I've got a round in the chamber. Just gonna cock the hammer, take off my safety, and hopefully punch out some bullseyes here. Now, let's make no bones about it. A 4570 is not a minute of angle shooting caliber generally at 100 yards, but I do expect some pretty darn good accuracy. Here we go. My first shot, I'm cutting just high above the bullseye. Darn that loophole glass is clear. When I cycle that, I can get that cross bolt safety back on. If I want to, then I can lower the hammer and I know that I'm blocked here with the safety. I want to get back in position here. There we go, round number two. Ooh, I'm touching that first round. I can see it clearly at 100 yards with this scope, and I'm feeling darn good about that group. This is looking, shaping up to be my best so far. As long as I do my part, I think we have a winner. Let's put round number three in there, should we? That is a pretty darn nice three shot group for a 16 and a quarter inch barrel 4570. Let me tell you, I am 100% confident on deer, bear, hogs, or any of that size game that that shot is in the vitals right where I want to be and that animal is not going anywhere with that kind of knockdown power. I'll be the first to admit that I'm more of a traditionalist when it comes to rifles, but I'll tell you what, I can change my ways because I am really liking this rifle. There's all kind of practical features that mean this rifle doesn't have to stay in the safe. When you're going on a rough and tumble hunt in the brush, in the blinds, you don't have to worry about the finish on this one. It's just plain gonna get the job done. Quality doesn't come cheap and the Marlin, like the Henry, is an American made lever action. MSRP on this gun in the 4570 is 949. Your real world prices are gonna come in somewhere south of there, which is a nice thing. But you know when you're buying a 4570 in a well-made lever action platform that can handle the hot loads, you're getting a quality gun that won't let you down in the field. While they may not replace the classic lever actions, I'll tell you what, after spending some time on the range, these modernized lever guns are here to stay. I'm Kristen for Guns.com. Thanks for joining me on the range today. If you're in the market for a gun like this or any other hunting guns, check out that Guns.com vault and be sure to give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. I'll see you next time.